How to calculate incidence. In this presentation, we consider how to calculate cumulative incidence and incidence rate. We will be using the example of myopia in school children from Singapore. Correctable myopia is defined by the World Health Organization as worse than minus one diopter. Research has shown that there is a genetic susceptibility to myopia and also a number of risk factors. For example, short-sightedness is linked to the number of years of education and also to an urban educated society. Singapore has gone from a developing to a developed country in the 50 years since the end of the Second World War and this rapid change has been reflected in changes in the health conditions seen. As of June 2014, Singapore's total population was 5.47 million, of which 13% were aged 0 to 14. Of these, 381,452 were male and 364,050 were female. In Singapore, 80% of adults have myopia. This could be due to the intensive education system. Since 1990, there has been a central register of myopic individuals. This gives the date of the initial diagnosis, as well as demographic details such as the date of birth, ethnicity and gender. Let's look at our first example. How do we calculate the incidence in 2014 in Singapore of diagnosed myopia in girls aged under 15? We know that between January and December 2014, there were 13,800 new cases in 364,050 girls. In this case, we want to state the incidence per 100,000 girls. To do this, we divide the number of new cases, 13,800, by the population at risk, 364,050 and multiply by 100,000. This equals 3,790.69 incident cases per 100,000 girls. So there were approximately 3,790 incident cases of diagnosed myopia in 100,000 girls aged under 15 in Singapore in 2014. In this case, if we had calculated that the incidence was more than 13,800, which is the number of new cases, we would know that there was something wrong in our calculation. Example 2. How many new cases were registered for boys aged under 15 in Singapore in 2014 if the incidence of myopia was the same for boys as for girls? Here the calculation is done the other way round to the previous one. We know that there were 3,790.69 new cases per 100,000 boys. And we know that there are 381,452 boys. To calculate the number of new cases, we multiply the number of boys, 381,452, by the exact incidence, 3,790.69 per 100,000. This gives 14,460 new cases of myopia in boys aged under 15 in Singapore in 2014. Example 3. We now know that there were 28,257 new cases in both boys and girls aged under 15. Let's now calculate the incidence for all children aged 0 to 14. As before, to calculate incidence, we divide the number of new cases, 28,257, by the population at risk. This is 381,452 boys plus 364,050 girls, which makes 745,502 children. Then we multiply by 100,000 as before to be able to compare with other incidence figures. This gives us 3,789 incident cases of diagnosed myopia 
per 100,000 children aged under 15 in Singapore in 2014. Example 4. In 1990, the population of Singapore was 3.047 million and 23% were aged under 15. In this year, 12,300 new cases of myopia were registered in children aged under 15. Let's calculate the incidence of myopia in Singapore children in 1990. First, we have to calculate the population at risk, that is, the number of children aged under 15. This is 23% of 3.047 million, which comes to 700,810. To calculate the incidence, we divide the number of new cases, which we know is 12,300, by the population at risk. Then we multiply by 100,000. This gives 1,755 incident cases of diagnosed myopia per 100,000 children aged under 15 in Singapore in 1990. When we compare the incidence of 1,755 per 100,000 in 1990 with 3,790 per 100,000 in 2014, we can see that the incidence of myopia has more than doubled in 24 years. Because we have used the same denominator, 100,000, for the incidence in both years, we can compare them easily without making any changes. As we mentioned at the beginning, this increase in incidence is not surprising from our knowledge of the risk factors for the disease and the country. Example 5. Incidence rate. There are three main ethnic groups in Singapore's population. The largest is Chinese, which makes up 78% of the population, then Malay at 13% and Indian at 9%. In 2014, the population aged under 15 was 745,502. A cohort of 450,000 was followed up from January to December 2014. 11,500 Chinese children with a total of 330,000 person years were diagnosed with myopia. Let's calculate the incidence rate for myopia in Chinese children in 2014. When we calculate incidence rate, the number of new cases is still the numerator, but the denominator is not the total population at risk during the time period, but the person time at risk. In this case, we want to know how many diagnoses there were in 100,000 person years, which is the same as 100,000 children in one year. We know that 11,500 Chinese children were diagnosed with myopia with a total of 330,000 person years. We divide 11,500 by 330,000 and multiply by 100,000 to give an incidence rate of 3,484 per 100,000 person years. We know that this is approximately correct because the rate is about one third of 11,500, just as 100,000 is about one third of 330,000. In the same year, the rate in Malay children was found to be 2,381, and that in Indian children, 1,226 per 100,000. We can see that the incidence rate of myopia varies with ethnicity in Singapore children. Chinese children develop myopia approximately three times as fast as that of the Indian children. In summary, we need to know three key numbers when calculating incidence. The time period being studied, the population or person time at risk during the time period, the denominator, the number of new cases of the disease, the numerator.